Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Five Loaves of Bread. I'm Minister Shanita, and I greet you in the name that is above every name, Jesus Christ. I'm here to give you a word of faith, a word of hope, and of course, I want to remind you of God's love. So with that being said, welcome to a moment of grace. This morning, I want to talk about discipline. Yes, discipline. Proverbs 12 and 1 says, if you love learning, you love discipline. And how short-sighted to refuse correction. That's from the Message Bible. And in this season, I've been focusing on discipline because there's a lot of things that I want to do and accomplish. And I know that I need discipline to get me there, right? I know, well, if you were like me, if you grew up like me, the word discipline meant that it was going to be time for somebody to get a belt, get a switch. Discipline, even as an adult, if I hear my supervisor mention the word discipline, somebody's in trouble. That's just the first thought that comes to mind. And most of us, when we think about the word discipline, it incites worry, fear, maybe anger even. But looking deeper into the meaning of discipline, I've learned that it actually just means to obey it means to learn. It means to grow. It means to practice. It means to train, you know, direction. It means order. So discipline actually is a great thing to have if you're trying to grow. Just like in, it says in Proverbs 12 and 1, someone who loves to learn loves discipline. So I've come to realize that as I'm trying to better myself, as I'm trying to take better care of myself, make better choices regarding my day-to-day -day lifestyle, I need discipline to help me do those things. So um, I've also learned that if I want to accomplish my goals, if I want to do new things, if I want to reach new levels, discipline is necessary. So, you know, some may say discipline is just so hard. It's tough. It's tough to stick to stuff. It's difficult to change. And yes, I agree with you. You know the saying, um, bad habits are hard to break. But I believe, since I've been studying, of course, I didn't think this at first, to be honest. But what I believe is God has given us everything that we need to accomplish what we need to accomplish. So when God saved us, he gave us everything we need to achieve that goal. When God saved us, he gave us everything we need to reach that next level. When God saved us, he supplied us with everything we need to be successful in life. And God gives us the discipline that we need to do what it is that we feel like we can't do. You see, when God saves us and we submit to God the way he wants us to submit to him, he supplies us with the fruit of the spirit, which is love, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, self-control, self-control, which means what? Discipline. So in knowing this, I know that I can change my bad habits. I can make better decisions. I can love when they hate. I can discipline myself to do the things God has placed in me to do because I have the fruit of the Spirit. And as a disciple, see those words go together, disciple, discipline. As a disciple, discipline, as difficult as it may seem, is already in us. All we have to do is activate it. So we can lose that weight. We can write that book. We can discipline ourselves to save that money. We can start that podcast and we can win if we just use what God has already placed inside of us. That discipline, that self-control that is already living inside of us. So we can win. We can win and we can do all the things that God has placed in our heart to do. Amen. Let us pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, as we seek you, God, to help us to control our thoughts, control our mind, God, control our ways, Lord God, to be better people for your kingdom, oh God. We ask, God, that you would continue to give us the strength, continue to give us the mindset to keep up the good fight of faith, God, knowing that you have placed in us everything that we need, oh God, that you have already placed in us the strength that we need, the love that we need, the concentration that we need, the discipline that we need, God. We ask, God, that you help us, oh God, to lean in the gifts 
the fruit of the spirit that you have already placed inside of us. Lord, we love you. We thank you, God, for what you have already done and that, and for everything that you're going to do. Lord, we love you. We thank you. And we bless you in Jesus name. We pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you again for joining five loaves of bread. This has been a moment of grace. I'm in a Sh Shanita. Woo, can't get that out. I'm in a Shanita though. And it is time for church. See you next time. Thank you.